To first get started with getting your data into Unity is to export it from MBN and the FBX file format. We can do this by going up to File, Export and Export File. Here we have our export window. We could choose to rename our file if we want. We want to double check that our exporter is set to the FBX exporter. And we also want to click on the Show Options tab so that we can just have a look and check that overwrite first frame with the T pose is set on and that our output preset is set to skeleton. As that's already done, we can go ahead and click Export. Now we can move on to Unity. Now in Unity, before we import our exported FBX animation, we want to make sure that our target character, the character we're going to animate, is fully set up in Unity's humanoid system. We can do that by selecting our character, for example, our XN Sky here, going up to Reg and the inspector of the character, and making sure that it's set to humanoid under animation type. To double check, we can also click configure, save the scene that we're working in, and just make sure that all bones of your target character are correctly assigned. All looks good here, so we can move on to importing our animation. We can import it by right clicking on our assets window, going to import new asset, and then selecting the FBX that we just exported from MBN. Now with the animation imported, the first step is to select the animation, go up to Rig in the Inspector window, and set it to Humanoid as well. We'll now need to apply this. Now that the Humanoid has been applied, we also want to check that our animation has been set up correctly in the system by Unity. So we'll also click Configure, and as we can see here, the hip bone hasn't been correctly assigned. Instead of the hip bone, currently Unity is using the reference bone. So to fix this, we just select hips, left click drag, over to the right, and drop into the hips. Excellent. Now that that has been correctly set up, we can click apply, and go back to our Unity scene. One final step, for the animation, if you want it to loop when playing back, select the animation and go up to the animation window in the inspector, and you want to tick on loop time. And this will keep the animation playing on a loop for as long as you would like. Now to get the animation onto our character, we want to first drag your chosen character onto the scene, as so and now make an animation controller. We do this by right clicking in our assets window, going to create and animation animator controller. And just name this whatever you would like. Now we wish to double click on the animation controller and that'll bring up an animator window. And from here we can simply drag our animation FBX onto the animator. From here we go back to our scene, select the character that you want to animate in the scene, and you'll see they have an animator over in their inspector. That is where we want to take our animation controller and just drop that in there. And now if we play this scene, our character should play with the animation that we exported from MDM. And they are now playing. So that is how you import animation into Unity and get it playing on your character.